This ministry is made possible by the faithful support of viewers like you. And so... This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Hi, I'm Robert Schuler, And I'm Donna Schuler. Welcome to church. Yeah, to our church with no walls. We're outside and we're dealing with the elements, of course. And uh, the beautiful thing about the elements is we've got these ducks that, 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 that make noise and swim past us. And, Land uh, and water. Yeah. yeah. And what's <laughs> interesting fun. about a duck is you see them glide through the water. And yet, if you could see the underside of the duck that's <laughs> inside the water, what do you see? Yeah, they're paddling like you, mad, you right? You see their legs just going, going nuts out. I think that's a lot like our faith, right? Sometimes yeah. we're racing, you know, trying to keep our head above water. And yet our, our faith on the outside, hopefully, is keeping us anchored and still and hopeful and all those great things and our attitude's good. But sometimes, you know, behind the scenes, we're racing around and we're paddling like that duck and... That's where faith comes in. Absolutely. And, you know, we, we get surprises in life. And, and the surprises, in more times than not, are not happy surprises. Mm -hmm. uh, surprises of, a, of an injury or an illness mm -hmm. or, or a, a loss of a job. And it can really threaten our faith. It can really throw us for a loop. It can, it can make us lose our, our, our assurance and our, our conviction of God's guidance in our lives. So today you're going to be talking about faith and you're going to be talking a little bit about blind faith, what that means, right? Oh, absolutely. Because life is about blind faith. That's the fact of the matter. Uh, we do not know what tomorrow holds. No one does. If somebody tells you they know what tomorrow holds, just Take it like a grain of salt and just say, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> because nobody knows what tomorrow holds. Nope, only God knows, right? Only God knows. Yep. And the beauty of that is that we, this we do know, <laughs> is that God loves us. And as a result of that, everything that happens to us will be for good. It will be for, for joy and for goodness. What requires faith is to is to come to the understanding that through suffering, we experience these joys. Exactly. And sometimes it's really hard to figure out. But I can't wait to listen to your message today. And stay tuned. And hopefully you'll learn a little bit about how to get through some tough times and how to hold on to hope. And most importantly, to hold on to your faith. Thank you for being a part of Vital Living Sunday this week with Robert and Donna Schuler. Our ministry is made possible by the faithful support of people like you from around the world who join together to help spread this positive message of God's love. Would you consider partnering with us? It could make a world of difference. Today's Bible reading is from 1 Peter, beginning in verse 3 and concluding with verse 9. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In this, you will greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Be right back with a morning prayer.
Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, even though we, we haven't physically seen you, we haven't laid hands on you, Lord, we thank you that we believe your promises are true. We believe you that you are accomplishing things today that are unseen, but that are happening nonetheless. Thank you for the faith you give us. Thank you for the reminder that we have to always, no matter what, hold on to hope. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. No matter where you are in the world, you can be a part of this dynamic faith community. Go online to drshuler.org today and download our community app. There you can request prayer and pray for others. Receive positive, encouraging content from Dr. Schuler and more. We want certainties in life. We want to know what our future is. It never feels good not knowing what's going to happen next or what's around the corner. And, and in fact, when we think about surprises, 99% of the time, a surprise means something bad. <laughs> it means that, oh man, cancer or a heart attack or a stroke or a loss of a job. It's 99% of the time when we think about a surprise, it's not what we want. But we want to know what our future is. We want our investments to, to go well. We want to be able to put money in the bank and know what the interest rate is. We want to be able to, to, to have some certainties. But the fact is that we go through life blind. Senior Naval Petty Officer John Crabtree was blinded in Iraq. Suddenly, he received a surprise, and the surprise was not a positive situation. Now he's facing a life without eyesight. And yet we go through life without eyesight uh, as far as seeing our future and knowing what things are going to happen almost completely. It's part, of, it's part of living. But John Crabtree discovered a hobby that he could do as a blind man. He discovered that he could ski, <laughs> and he loves skiing. He says, it's one of the most thrilling things, but it requires faith, extreme faith. In order to succeed, we have to listen to the guide. If the guide says, go right, you have to go right. If he says, go left, you have to go left. If he says, stop, you have to stop. And if you don't listen to your guide and do exactly what he says, you can ski off a cliff. You can run into a tree, and there is a million other hazards that I could run into if I don't listen to my guide. But if I live with faith and do what he says and trust his words, <laughs> I just have the time of my life. That's John Crabtree. And in many ways, that's a perfect example for us living our spiritual lives and trying to figure out what our future is and where we're going and how we're going to experience a fullness in life. Because again, there are no certainties. We don't know when suddenly our spouse or loved one is gonna be hit by a car and be an invalid, or we're gonna have some other debilitating disease or our child is gonna be vaccine injured. We don't know these things. And yet they happen, and they happen on a regular basis, and life changes in the blink of an eye. So what we are called to do as people today, knowing that, the, that our future is, is, is never certain, that we live in blind faith, much like John Crabtree, going through life, turn this way, turn that way, is to have the faith, to find the faith, to develop the faith, to be able to follow the voice of God, hear the voice of God, listen to the voice of God, and move accordingly. It's a lot like playing pin the tail on the donkey. I was, I was uh, on the beach recently, and there was a party going on, and I heard, uh, I heard the calls, right, left, right, go left, go right, go left lower, higher, lower, until they tried to get and pinpoint the tail right on the donkey. It's a lot like that for us, for you, for me. 
we have to discover the direction that God has for our lives by following the laws that we have. That's why God has given us the laws. That's why God has given us the Bible. He has given us the Old and New Testament as a guide and rule in life. It is an opportunity for us to be able to experience the fullness of life without running off the cliffs like John Crabtree would do if he didn't listen to his skiing guide. So we have to ask ourselves, who do we want to follow in life? Do we want to follow our feelings? <laughs> a lot of people spend their life following their feelings. Ah, I feel this way, so I'll go this way. I'll go that, I feel that way, I'll go that, I'll, I'll move in that direction. <laughs> and I don't believe that turns out very well for most people. Decades ago, the founder of Campus Crusade for Christ, Bill Bright, wrote this little booklet. It's called The Four Spiritual Laws. And in this book, he has one section in here that says, do not depend upon feelings. And if you take a look, you can see there's a train. In fact, it looks like this is reverse, which is kind of interesting, but it says fact, faith, and feelings. So facts are, are, the, are the caboose that runs everything. Faith is the, is the fuel source that fuels our, our, uh, our, our, the facts, and feelings follow along behind. And as we put our life into practice, as we follow the facts and not the feelings, our life comes into shape and into being. And the four spiritual laws, the facts, are these. Number one... God loves you and offers a wonderful plan for your life. Number two is man is sinful and separated from God. Therefore, he cannot know and experience God's love and plan for his life. Number three, Jesus Christ is God's only provision for man's sin. Through him, you can know and experience God's love and plan for your life. Number four, we must individually receive Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. Then we can know and experience God's love and plan for our lives. I was in China in the late 70s. And I took this book with me as I walked through the streets. The only one who had any, was wearing any colored clothing. And people would follow me like I was the Pied Piper. And I would stop and I would open this book and... Those who could read English and speak English would come forward and they would read every single word of this until we got to the section that says, you can receive Christ right now by faith through prayer. <laughs> and then their eyes opened big and they said, we can pray right here, right now. And we would join hands and we'd pray together. You know, this, is a, this book has been... There's been millions of these things given away, hundreds of millions given away. And the fact is that as we continue to follow the facts instead of our feelings, that our future becomes certain in a few specific areas. One is that God's love for us and the grace of Jesus Christ will give us eternal life forever to be with God in paradise. When we follow the facts, when we allow the engine to pull our faith, then the feelings will follow. That is the whole idea behind this concept, as facts are the truth. And the truth is that God loves you. God has a plan for your life. God opens his arms to embrace you and welcome you into his family. Without the Bible to give us guidance, Without the assurance of the love of Jesus to, to bring hope and joy into our lives, without the assurance of God's grace in our lives, we are like John Trabtree going down the mountain at high speed without a guide telling us when to stop, when to turn. My hope for you today and my gift to you today is this. Open your heart and your mind and your soul and allow God to come and to bring you close. One day as Jesus was walking through the temple area with his disciples, in fact, the account is recorded in John 9, his disciples stopped and asked him, Rabbi, Jesus, 
who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? For this man had was born blind, and he would sit at the entrance of the temple every single day begging for alms. <laughs> and Jesus said, neither this man nor his people nor his parents sinned, but that the glory of God might be revealed. With that, Jesus looked at the man and he said, pick up your mat and walk. <laughs> and he picked up his mat and he walked. Today, I want you to realize that as you go through, through difficult times, as you face the struggles and the surprises that life offers, Jesus is there to tell us to pick up our mat and walk. We come before God in prayer and we pray like it all depends on God. But at the same time, we pick up our mat realizing that we too have a responsibility to work like it all depends on us. And as we do, these two things come together to, for us to be able to fulfill the calling that God has for us. So today, work like it all depends on you. Pray like it all depends on God. Continue to listen to the guidance. So like, uh, like John Crabtree, you can hear the voice telling you to turn right, to turn left. Follow faith, not your feelings. Follow the commands of God and you will see your life bloom and blossom in ways you never thought possible. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity, this time, and this moment to give you praise and glory and thanks in all things and in all ways. We love you, Lord, and we praise your name always and forever. Amen. Thank you for being a part of Vital Living Sunday this week with Robert and Donna Schuler. Our ministry is made possible by the faithful support of people like you from around the world who join together to help spread this positive message of God's love. Would you consider partnering with us? It could make a world of difference. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord grant you his peace. And you're lying down and you're rising up in your labor and in your leisure, in your laughter and in your tears until you come to stand before Jesus in that day on which there is no sunset and no dawning. Amen.